All right, so this is ISO 7C14, which is adding and subtracting integers, word problems. And this is an important skill because it will be necessary uh, throughout your math career. So in this skill, what you're going to have to do is read the problem, identify what's happening, set up your situation, draw it out, and make sure that what you draw fits the scenario, and then you'll be able to do the math from there. So let's get moving. So in the morning, the temperature was negative 10 degrees. By the afternoon, it had, written, had risen to negative 2 degrees Celsius. What was the change in temperature from the morning to the afternoon? To solve the problem, Luke subtracted negative 10 minus negative 10 and came up with an answer of 8 degrees Celsius. Is Luke correct? Well, how do we figure that out? Well, we would just set up our own problem. So we know that we're starting at negative 10 degrees. So what I'm going to do is draw a number line since this temperature is going up and down. I know I'm going to start below zero because it's negative 10 degrees. So here's minus 10. It had risen to negative 2. So I know this is negative 2. If this is 0, the first thing I'm going to do is go down to negative 10. So my first line, since it was at negative 10, I draw a number line going to negative 10. And I put a negative 10 here. Then it says it had risen to negative 2. So if it has risen to negative 2, then what I'm going to do is show a line that rises up to about negative 2, which should be about here. The question says, what was the change in temperature? So I'm looking for the change in temperature. I'm not looking for the new temperature. They didn't tell me how much I rose by. They told me I rose to negative 2. So this would technically be a question mark. So if that's going to be a question mark, and they asked me how would I solve it, well, then I would think about this as follows. I know I went down by 10 first, and then I went up by a certain number. And we said, whenever you're trying to find the change, then what you're going to do is subtract the quantities. So this would be negative 2 minus negative 10, because to find the change, I subtract the quantities. And so negative 2 minus 10 becomes negative 2 plus positive 10. Negative 2 plus positive 10 means you really subtract those. That gives you a difference of 8. Now, when you're finding distance again, it should be the absolute value anyway. So this is going to be an answer of 8. So actually, Luke was correct. New Orleans is 2 meters below sea level. Baton Rouge is 17 meters above sea level. How much higher is Baton Rouge than New Orleans? So they asked me how much higher. So if they say how much, that again means I'm finding the distance or the difference, which means that this is definitely going to be subtraction to figure this out. But again, to draw my number line to make sure it makes sense, if here is zero, Baton Rouge, I'm sorry, New Orleans is two meters above sea, below sea level. So that would become that mean come down here. Here's negative two. That means from zero to negative two. Here's the minus two. Baton Rouge is 17 meters above sea level. So from zero, I'm going up to 17, which would be about here. There's my plus 17. 17 meters above means plus 17. Two meters below means minus two. So it says how much higher. So really all they're asking me for is the distance from Baton Rouge all the way down to New Orleans. So if I think about this, again, because they're asking how much higher, we know that that's subtraction. So the answer to this question is 17 minus negative 2, which would just be 17 plus positive 2, because the keep change change, which should be 19. Why does that make sense according to the diagram? Well, because if I thought about it, if this is sea level right here, if from Baton, Rouge, from Baton Rouge back to sea level was 17, and from sea level down to, to New Orleans was 2, 
the total distance would be 17 plus 2, which again should be 19. So to solve this problem, test subtracted 2 minus 17 and came up with negative 15. Well, that's not true. Test should have subtracted 17 minus negative 2 because Baton Rouge is 17 meters above sea level and New Orleans is 2 meters below sea level because anytime you're trying to find the difference between two quantities, the difference between two points, you're going to subtract them. 